So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, my last video where I had problems with um, uh, with the arrows that shows the the home direction and, and so on. I just wanted to. Uh, to tell you what happened there and what, what was the problem and how I solved it. So um, I have had good help from uh, people commenting here and uh, majority said there's something wrong with, with, your, with your font. And I know that I had tried to, um, I had uploaded the new font. Uh, not only once, but I had reflashed the whole thing with a new version. I went from 4.0.5 uh, down to 4.0.4 4, uh, beta flight, beta flight, beta flight, beta flight. Right. And um, uh, oh, this is the quadcopter. Um, so, um, so I thought it was okay, but uh, thanks to one of the people who commented, he said, do you have had um, uh, iNav installed? Yes, I had iNav installed. Uh, and he said that th those arrows, they, they don't look like, a, like beta flight uh, arrows. So I checked it and um, it turns out that uh, some long time ago I had uh, uh, downloaded uh, or uploaded, whatever, um, one of the fonts that is further down on the Betaflight font list and they look like that. But I know that I have... Uh, downloaded um, other fonts like the bold font for example I usually have the bold font and so I connected uh, my flight controller again to the uh, to the computer and I downloaded it and I went out and checked and it was still the old font. So what happens is I upload a font, I power off, or the actually the, when I upload it, then the, uh, bit, the the flight controller will reboot, and after that it loses the font. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So if I do that four, five, six, eleven times, it's still the same old font that is there. So what did I do? I did something that I almost, well, never ever do, which is connect um, the battery and the cable to the computer at the same time without taking out the propellers. Yes, I did that. And then I uploaded the font again, now with the battery powering the flight controller. So my thought is like, they probably flash it, but during the flash, or if it's some E square, whatever, um, memory there, maybe it takes some time and in the meantime, uh, the flight controller is reset and it doesn't get stored. And I think that was exactly what happened because when I had the battery connected, I uploaded the font, bold font. Um, and then I looked in my goggles immediately and the bold font was there. Nice. Um, 
and then I unplugged the battery, plugged it in again, and the font, the bold font that I had uploaded was still there. So, <laughs> so this is kind of weird that I upload a font and it loses the font unless I have the battery powered uh, to power up the 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 flight controller so that's it so now i went out uh, but it's freaking dark outside so my flights there were not kind of representative for what you want to see but um, the problem seems to be solved and the arrows as far as i could see i took a walk with the whole thing and uh, the arrows were kind of showing the correct direction even if I mean walking around with an armed copter uh, it, you can do it better but it was so dark so I could not fly so okay so that's it and I'm very happy and I will post uh, this and some information on the beta flight issue tracker also so that the people there uh, knows what has happened. Maybe they can put in a little delay or something like that so that the, the M thing does not uh, reboot before the font is stored. Uh, I don't know. Okay. See you over and out. Merry Christmas. Well.